And yeah, let's queue. Here we go. Bomb King time. Always a good day when we're playing some Bomb King. Of course, he's my main. He's my beautiful best boy. On Jag Falls too. Okay, we have a decent map for him. Here we go. Goodness, that was requested 42 minutes ago. We've just had two long games back to back. <laughs> but I hope the person you requested is still in the chat right now. <laughs> I was kind of concerned when we delay our requests so long that, like, the person who requested just says, Screw it, I gotta leave, and then they don't actually get to see the champion they requested. Why did you main BK? Because he's fun, dude. <laughs> uh, back in 2017 is when I first started maining Bomb King. Like, early on in my Paladins career, probably the first few months I played Paladins. Like, I was playing a bunch of different champions, trying them out. Like, I tried Kness, I tried Shaolin. And then, in a payload match, I remember the exact game. A payload match on the, uh, the Dark Outpost match that basically looks like a Timber Build but night, but, but night version. I got absolutely crushed by a Bomb King player. Like, decimated. <laughs> and I was like, holy crap! This guy looks so strong. So I picked him up, started playing him, and I just had so much fun. So, yeah. And then I've maned him ever since. I've had some other champions that I've obsessed over for a while. Like, I went through a Fernando phase, a Makoa phase, a Grok phase, a Grover phase, a Pip phase. Like, I've gone through phases with a bunch of different champions, but BK has always been my fallback. Like, he's always been my guy who's just there for me. So. Oh, there was a skin request. I didn't see it. I'm sorry, I'll refund it for you. My bad. <clears throat> okay, let's go for, uh... Let's just go for the usual. There we go. Juggernaut build. My old reliable. Go for the cauterized life rip. If you're ever running King's Court, make sure that you buy life rip as well. They stack really well together, because they have no diminishing returns. I explained this in my Tiberius video, because Tiberius has the exact same card. Uh, and yeah, basically, it doesn't count as a percent of your weapon shots. It just counts as a flat 75 heal. So, it doesn't calculate diminishing returns on it, like it does if you stack, you know, one life rip card with another life rip card, for example. Has BK always had the same abilities? Five, yes, he has, but he has had a bunch three, of different talents. Two, Accelerant actually used to make him have a ridiculously... Uh, he, it made, he used to make him have ridiculous um, knockback on his Poppy Bomb for himself. It was basically like self-activated jolt with increased air control. You were able to literally fly across the map with it. It was crazy. So... Yeah. That was... A very interesting talent, and they removed it because it was too strong. And then he also had another talent, which destroyed all shields, and it's called Demolition. Um, I believe what it did was it made the Grumpy Bomb uh, destroy all shields it came into contact with. It didn't blow up any faster. That was Acceleration's niche. Uh, but, yeah, it also had, I think, a bigger Blast Radius, too. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die here. Got knocked up in the air. I just took too much damage there. The team wasn't really pressuring much, either. <laughs> like, I was throwing some bombs. I was getting people low, but... They weren't really dying. Just a lot of healing. We're really going to need a lot of Cauterize here, because they have a full healer Saris, and they have a Grover supplementing as well. So, Cauterize is a must. Leon just wiped two of our teammates. Ash needs to fall back if she can. Now she's just going to die. Genos needs to fall back. Get out of there, Genos. I think this point is a lost cause. Tank's down. We're not going to be able to touch safely. Oh, hello. Rooted! I hate it. Why would you do this to me? Okay, let's see. Where's the Satya? I heard her over here. Hello. We're still in something. That's the decoy, though. Don't want to get revealed. Alright, let's see. Let me throw Grumpy. Hello. Whoop. Stick the bombs. Just gonna keep spamming them out. I have an ult, so I think what I might do is just go around the side here if I can. Yeah, this is safe. And then just... Kill the con! Bop! There we go. Nice and easy. Grover's looking low as well. Come here, buddy. We find a way. She can kill me, but Vora has my back. Thank you, Vora. Leon is one of the scariest counters of Bomb King, because she can hit headshots, and she has the burst to take him out really easily. Bomb King is the burstiest damage champion. Or, not the burstiest damage champion. The burstiest blaster, apart from Drogo's fair and balanced combo. But it's still not able to outburst Leon's burst combo sometimes. So... Like, she is really effective against him. Like, pretty much all the top tier damage champions can still put up a very good fight against Bomb King, even an experienced Bomb King. Like, Tyra, Cassie, Leon, all of them. But he can still hold his own against them, too. Which is nice. 
Okay, I need to back up. Well, Bomb King really struggles against those snipers. Like, at long range, BK can't do anything to a sniper. Strix, Kinesa, I mean, he can still hit them because he has no falloff, but it's very hard. And 9 times out of 10, they'll be able to outpoke him. Heck, it's more like 99 times out of 100. <laughs> I like guess really rare where you out-snipe a sniper with Bomb King. Oh, he just killed Sati, and my poppy failed. Okay. I need a heal. Unfortunately, we only have a Genos solo heal, so... I mean, he's still doing a good job, but, you know, it's Genos, so... Hello. What are you doing over here? <laughs> You're not safe. You're not safe either. I'm gonna steal Vora's kill. Yeah. Look at me being a productive member of the team. Alright, Khan. Hello. Bonk. Nice. All right. You don't know who to buy? You have 60,000 coins? You're kind of new. What I always recommend to someone who's trying to find a champion to buy is go try them in the shooting range. You can try every champion in the shooting range without actually owning them. So it's a great way to just play around with the kits and see who you think might be fun. What was that noise? That was weird. It was like someone got stuck on the wall. That was really weird. Hello. There we go, kill the Khan, just blast him. You know what I think is really dumb? Not dumb about Bomb King, but dumb about Willow. Willow does less damage per shot than Bomb King, and she also has a slower fire rate than Bomb King. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure she also has a lower blast radius than Bomb King if Bomb King goes Royal Subjects. She is she has a worse weapon than Bomb King in every single way, except maybe the fact that Bomb King's weapon arcs and Willow's doesn't. Like look at this. Sticky bomb. Oh, it doesn't say the fire rate, but she, he has a 0.7 fire rate. 0.7 seconds. Willow has a 0.75 second fire rate. <laughs> and she does 500 damage per shot. Bomb King does 850 damage per shot. It's so dumb. I need to make a rant video about Willow. I've been ranting about her so much lately. I just need to go over everything that's wrong with her. Because I want her to be good. She's still got a salvageable kit. Because, honestly, I really like her abilities. They're interesting. She just needs some numbers to be tweaked. Holy crap. Hey Andrew, I'm new to this game and I really enjoy it, but do you have a tip of what I should buy in the item store? Ah, uh, I really do need to make, remake my itemization guide. I had an itemization guide that I would definitely point you to, but the problem is, it's very outdated. They have completely reworked the item store, I think twice, since I made that guide, so... But yeah, the basics of itemization, if you're a damage champion or a flank champion, most of the time you're going to want to buy Cauterize, because healing in this game is very powerful, and Cauterize makes healing less powerful. For example, Ceres can heal someone for a thousand healing per second. And some damage champions, like Drogos, deal 850 damage per second. So here, so without Cauterize, you're straight up getting out-healed <laughs> with your damage. So Cauterize is a must-buy on a lot of champions. Especially on tanks, if you're being aggressive as well. You can literally never go wrong with buying Haven. Like, literally never. And most of the time, it's better than, uh, what's it called? Veteran. Because both of them give you effective HP. Just one is raw flat HP and the other one is damage reduction. But Haven's simply more effective. It is a little bit more expensive, though. And on Squish Champions, especially Haven, is just outright better than Veteran. Um, if you have a good healer and you like the healing, but you want more healing, buy Rejuvenate. And also on a lot of supports, Kronos and Rob is really good. Like, for example, Grover. Kronos is a must on him because his uh, healing ability has a pretty decently lengthy cooldown. And then also Morabus is good on him because he has one of the best healing ultimates in the game. So, yeah, basics of itemization. I just got bursted. Thanks. So many people rushing me right there. That's a pain. I'm kind of just playing on autopilot there while I'm talking about items. Willow has great abilities, but bad primary fire. Honestly, yeah. And even still, the seedling could use some tune-ups to some tweaking. Because seedling is honestly just a worse version of dredge broadside. Both of them do the same thing. They zone, and then if you get uh, hit by them, they do big damage. But Broadside has no cooldown. <laughs> it does more damage. And it's just better. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to get another juicy ult here, but I'm not sure where or how I want to do that necessarily. Can kill the Grover. I uh, still got a bunch of people out there. Got Ash here. She could give me a shield for cover, but I don't think I actually need to ult anymore. Don't hit me with that. Die. Broadside more damage, no ammo, and gives mobility with a card. Wait, no, it does. Broadside does require ammo, though. Like, you use three ammo for each of three shots. What? <laughs> Way better horizontal mobility than Willow. 
Oh, that's true. The knockback card. And theoretically, it gives better sustain as well. Because it doesn't like her play on broadside. But even if it doesn't, you can go the heal on broadside card and get more healing out of that than seedling. Okay. Can you answer my question? What question? Let me scroll up. Will we be playing any non streaming matches today? I don't know. Okay, let's say that. Andrew makes BK look easy, but a lot of people have trouble timing the explosions. True. BK is hard to get into because of his projectiles. It's one of the most complicated projectiles in the game. Not only is it slow and has an arc, but you also have to time the detonation. So you have to have good distance judgment as well. It takes a while to get into them, but I have played Bomb King for almost 300 hours of my life. Because <laughs> I really enjoy playing him, so... Like, it's just second nature to me at this point. Like, yeah. I've just got so much experience on it. That's the biggest thing with Bomb King. Like, there's not too much tech involved with him. Like, obviously there's the tech of using your Poppy Bomb to make your ult more effective. Like, getting in close with him. And there's Poppy Bomb tech with, like, positioning and stuff. But other than that, it's just practice, practice, practice. Like, practice with your stickies, practice hitting your poppies. Or rather, using your poppy to position yourself. And you're golden. Grumpy Bomb is the easiest ability to use, just throw it out the point, throw it at a group of enemies. <laughs> Alright. Apparently, Andrew, I've become a meme in your videos. Someone on Twitter tweeted saying, Me looking at Andrew Chicken videos to see Sparks in the chat. <laughs> oh, interesting. I didn't know that. I don't check Twitter at all, so I don't know what people are saying about me on that platform. How much do you have to play, or how much to have you play Eevee with a controller? I've played maybe like one or two matches of Eevee on controller, and I didn't like it, so. Yeah. You like him for the same reason you like Buck? He's a big old bully. Oh, yeah. Buck can absolutely bully people. He's a force to be reckoned with. Do you know who Frostfangs is? Of course I do. Hmm. He's the biggest Paladins content creator, and also the most lonely Paladins content creator. Doesn't do collabs, doesn't have a Discord server. Like, the rest of us have at least collabed with one other person. Like, most content creators I can think of. Me, Daddy Mouse, Infernal, Kami, Z1. Like, most people I know of. <laughs> or, at the very least, they have a Discord server. Creepers 2, he's another one. And then the other, just Frostfangs. Alright, Leon, don't push in here. Don't push in here. Ooh, good counter ult. Still dead. <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Well, we got a bit of a lag spike there. Oh, goodness. I appreciate the general so much right now for healing me there. Helping me out. Taking that, uh, that vortex grip as well, that commander's grab. I'm in a bad spot here. I can't top peek that Grover. It's an awkward angle. Alright. Uh, let's see. Still want to have the high ground, though. It's still zone from here, but it's very hard. That's a lot of people peeking me, too. I'm going to move to the hallway. It's a bit safer here. Ooh, it's a bit safer with Ash Shield. Big ol' Seed Shield right there. And there's the objective capture. We zone them out well enough. Good stuff. Hello, anybody? Grumpy? They have, they have so much forward pressure this way. I'm trying to spam bombs as best I can, but... They still just have so much po uh, poke. <laughs> yeah, that bomb did 9 damage. Nice. Oh, I got stuck. I want that Saucy. I actually got healed. I got her, but I'm almost dead. Hello, Genos. Thank you. Let me get up here the cool kids way. We don't use ramps. We use bombs to get around. Come on. Get with the times. I mean, that is kind of how cars work, though. Like, <laughs> just a bunch of explosions happening in the engine. So we can sort of say we use bombs to get around. Pretty nice. What's the widget in the top right? You want that? Are you talking about Palad Insight? That little thing that shows stats and stuff? That's on the top left for me. I'm not sure what, if you're talking about that or something else. Okay, I got another ult. I kind of want to use it just to cure the push. Ooh, there's people over here. Hello. I still got pulled in by that. Okay. Well, we won, though. Nice. Alright. <laughs> Conclusion, he must think he's better and hate the rest of the community. Or he's just, you know, doing his own thing. That's probably the more reasonable conclusion. 
Hey, we got 1,200 bounty coins. Sweet. And we also did pretty good that game. I was playing on autopilot for most of that game, and I still got top kills tied with Asati, but I died five fewer times, and I got a lot more damage than her. A little bit over 40,000 more damage, so... Pretty solid game of Bomb King there, honestly. And we just won the game. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, level 224. Heck yeah. You watch a lot of Paladin's Comp, and the most satisfying champ to watch is a good Shylin. Everything is so smooth Nearly and relaxing. Nearly 100k healing as Genos. I am very proud. Nice. Yeah, good job. Honestly, my one of my favorite champions to watch is just a good Eevee just getting a pentakill or some other multi-kill. Like, just seeing an Eevee wipe the floor. It just feels so cool to watch. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload from me. Also, make sure to check out the Twitch channel and the Discord server, both of which are linked in the description down below. I stream regularly on Twitch, and we have a wonderful active community of people on Discord, so go check both of them out. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. <laughs>